Hello, I'm Niels Philipsen, and today I want to talk about the new major version 3 of GIMP, the GNU image manipulation program, which we have in Fedora 41 as a release candidate. Start the program. Here's a new splash screen. Not so much of a surprise. This might be more of a surprise. Here's a, like a welcome greeting dialogue, which will open if you didn't um, like open an image file directly out of file manager like on the first uh, start it will show this part of the dialogue subsequent starts will show this one giving you the option to create a new image open exist an existing file which i will do I'll open um, a background image i have on my computer and with this, I want to demonstrate what I think is the most user visible new feature in this version, which is non-destructive editing. So with previous versions of GIMP, you would um, change your image, apply filters like do selections and these things. Um, let's see. We desaturated this part of the image and then blurred it a little, little more so you can see the effect quite well. And uh, you had to undo and redo, like flip through your undo history and if you wanted to change anything a couple steps back, you had to repeat all the changes you did since then. This isn't uh, necessary any longer because uh, we have something called filter layers, which are accessible through the FX icon in your, in your layer stack which um, opens up this small box uh, giving me a list of the filters I just apply. So the desaturation, then on top uh, the blur. I can switch them on and off so I can gauge their effects also in isolation. I can change their order in the stack so I can put the blur on the bottom, so it will be applied first, which doesn't have, have a visible effect because um, desaturation and blurring, they don't affect each other. But I can, um, I can add another filter which interacts with the blurring, or the blurring will interact with that filter, depending on the order. This is the sharpening filter. You can try to compensate the blurring. If I pull it up very much, so it will get a somewhat sharper, doesn't restore the original image quality, of course. But this is enough for demonstrating what's happening. So now we have desaturation applied first, then the blur, then the sharpening filter. If I bring that one down, the image will look very different. So I can also um, like now change the settings of the filters without having to um, deal with the others on top. This will just be or uh, apply it again so I can use a different algorithm for de desaturation and can modify the amount of uh, the amount of unsharp masking I want to do here or the amount of blur I uh, couldn't see that but so and when I'm taking a break or uh, log off for the day I can of course save my project 
somewhere. And next morning or after lunch or whenever I can open it up again. I have all that, the selection and the filters in place and can still edit all of these. I find this is a very cool feature. It will make some workflows much easier and um, less less of a drag if you want to change something uh, like 10, 20 uh, steps uh, in the past. You can easily do that now. And with that, um, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.